I mean, uh, what uh, we call uh, BA5, that is our storage space, uh, that contains where we usually we store our bots. Now there are no bots except, I think it's uh, nice to see, except this one uh, that is called Adel. It's a bot that uh, we are going to, unfortunately, to dismantle. We bought it just for the place. By the way, those are the sales, uh, those are the racing sales I will use uh, for uh, my regatta. And also I came here to see what is in this box, that is the Velocitech, Velocitech, whatever is the name. So I'm going to do my first regatta with uh, this device, that is uh, the Velocitech here, that I just got from, uh, from the club, never used it before. And so I'm going to do my first regatta in the parking. Yeah? We are here in a parking and I will be on my boat and I will try to guess how this system works. And I want to set between uh, uh, this, uh, this pole here, so I will go here. So the idea is that you go first to the, actually no, we have the committee ball. So I will use this sign, uh, this will be my starting committee boat. So I will put it here and I will say mark, it doesn't work. A C set, race committee set. Okay. Now I want to set the other boy, the starting other starting line boy. I don't know what is metering now. And I'm going here. So that should be the boy. This red one. And I set pin. Pin set. In fact now I am on the starting line. This one. And it measures zero. Now if I go far away. Yes, so I'm getting a, a distance, so I'm 10 meters, 12 meters from the start. Mm -hmm. Now I will want to start, so go, and the time 5 minutes start. I've noticed if you press again go, it goes to 4, 3, 2, so we just uh, 1 minute before the start. So I will navigate around my starting line, and uh, in the meantime you can switch also to the mode that tell you the compass. So I'm doing 100 degrees, I tuck, and now I do, okay, 350, so I'm a very good tuck, and I switch back to the starting line. So I have 30 seconds before the start, I am 8 meters. So I will tuck again, over here, 20 seconds, I'm too far away, so I'm, you see that the pole, it's 5 meters, Four meters. Hmm. Okay, it seems quite precise. Sixteen seconds. So we'll tuck again. Voila. Ten. Eight seconds. I'm reaching to the starting line. Slow down a bit. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. And I will cross the line. It's blinking. I don't know what does it mean. But I have crossed. Now I'm. I'm start sailing. Actually, I got really upwind. So we'll tuck again. And I get my win. When I was doing 100 as an angle. So this tells me my speed. 100, so if I do a good tuck, I will be around 10. So tuck. Ah. And in the other mode, I got the distance. So those are the functionality of this 300 euros device. To be honest, I was expecting a bit more. I will have to read the manual, but doesn't seem outstanding. So when I go back, also I hate the idea that the compass goes to zero when I have no speed. So you should switch automatically to the internal magnetic compass. It's quite stupid. So this does just tell me the distance to the safe finishing line, and that tells me my heading and my speed. With such a large display, they could have put all together in the same uh, in the same display. Yeah. By the way. I'm finishing my regatta, I'm going downwind. Uh, that is the committee boat. So we'll pass very close. Boom, 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 boom. Beep, finish my regatta. So, um, this device, okay, it can for sure help in tactics for the guy that is at the tactics. But when you are sailing solo, the fact that you have to press buttons 
it's not so interesting. What is interesting, okay, you could say I will not press the button five minutes before the race, or when the race starts, because of course I will help me, so I would easy if it is in the front, they cannot. I can for sure set the distance from, uh, to, to mark the, the starting line, and just to have an additional reference to the starting line, that is important, because if there are many boats, you know the famous uh, captain eye effect so you will uh, if you are in the center the risk is that uh, you are missing some meters but in such a long regatta i think i will not gain a lot using this device there is also the compass probably the functionality that as you compare to your course if you are uh, winning so you are winning on the wind or not i will read the mind that for sure has another functionality that i've not yet explored uh, very well they state it last, it can record, that is interesting, it can record my GPS track and there is a USB cable to, to download it from the device. But the, it states that will uh, the battery, if fully charged, will uh, get 15 hours and can record up to 30 hours. So this is another engineering failure because how can you record a GPS track and you have in the middle of the record to change the battery and what is quite idiotic is that it uses only three batteries so if that was the problem you see I will show you so only three AA battery and in fact we have two sets and the idea is that you will have to change in the middle of the course so this is already something that annoys me and also that there is no way to power this device from the boat so, you know, this will cost 300 bucks, 300 euros, 